Hey there, thank you for watching the video about Chrome Browser DevTools. DevTools are a powerful set of tools helping web developers to build better applications. In this video, we will learn about a cool tool called Recorder Panel. So let's see what exactly Recorder Panel have got for you. To do that, what you have to do, you have to first switch on the DevTools and to do that, either press the F12 key on the browser or just right click and say inspect. We have got the dev tools opened here. Now what we'll do, we'll first get fetch the recorder panel. To do that, click on these three dots, go to more tools, and then below you have this recorder panel. Click on this recorder, you will get this recorder panel. What exactly this recorder panel is for? This recorder panel is multipurpose. It helps you to re record a common user journey. It means that you perform certain actions on the application, it records it. You can actually download this recording. You can replay this recording to see the user journey. You can actually inject certain steps within the recording to see how exactly it will be if we make these changes. Not only that, the best part is still there. The best part is like you can actually run a entire performance snapshot from this recording and see where exactly your application lags and where exactly the improvements are required. All right, so let's see that in action. Let us start a recording by clicking on the start new recording button and give a name. We'll give say bug finder and click on this button to start new recording. The recording has been started. Now we'll start interacting with this application. I'm scrolling at the right side. You see that scroll is getting recorded. Then what we can do is like, I can probably go ahead and click on this menu and say uh, blogs. And if we go to the blogs page, you see that it is still recording the click event now. Now I can actually go inside different blogs that are coming up. See a bunch of blogs over here. Let's click on one of these blogs. Still it is recording, it's keep recording. I get inside one of the blog and I'm scrolling. It is still again recording each of these pieces. So enough of recording. Let's end this recording and see what exactly is created. So ending this recording, this recording is now saved. So it, you can also export this recording and you can actually uh, play it so at this point the export support is only as a script you can actually download it as a script as a node.js script and then you can actually embed into any application in future there will be support added for other file format as well you can replay the recording to see the entire application how exactly it runs so replay this recording will take you through in entire application journey and it will run through while replaying you can also stop it and try to see like what what ha exactly happened in each of this event. For example, if I go to this crawl event, I get to see like, you know, uh, this is crawl from the top, so X0, Y0. I can actually inject any selectors. I can actually inject a H1 or I can inject a P and, and you know, make that appear in my this crawling process. This is very cool. Uh, similarly, for any other event, for example, a key event happened, what exactly happened, I can actually assert that event. And the best part over here, I can measure the performance of my entire recording, uh, entire DOM rendering, entire uh, events, all the events together and try to inspect that. So let's do that. Let's click on measure performance and see what exactly the outcome. So I clicked on measure performance. We see the performance tab is being loaded. Yeah. So we have this performance tab completely loaded. So let me just make it a little bigger so that you can start talking about it. So here you see like each of the steps that we have captured through the recorder panel has been captured for its performance also, like how much it is taking for the CPUs, where exactly FVS is taking more time. It is probably taking a little bit of, uh, you know, we can do some improvement. So you have entire log available into this performance panel for you to debug and understand. We have a, uh, an article in Bugfinder uh, that talks about how to debug things in this uh, dev tools, including the performance tab. Please, you know, uh, read through it. You, you are going to learn a lot about the performance inspection as well. So I hope that you found this video helpful and start playing around with this recorder panel, which is which is really, really awesome stuff, um, you know, to know and learn. So please subscribe to this channel. We are going to create much more valuable content for the developer community. Thank you very much.